Hello friends, this video on determinant part 30 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 29. Here we have to solve for So let's again write this in the form of ax is equal to b form where a will be the coefficient of x 3, coefficient of y minus 1, coefficient of z minus 2, coefficient of x 0, there is no coefficient of x y 2 z minus 1 x 3 y minus 5 and z 0 this is my x into x and x will be x y z y because we have all three variables here is equal to b b will be 2 minus 1 and 3 minus 1 now the first thing we should do is we should find the value of determinant of a to check whether the system is consistent or not Determinant of A in this ca case will be, let's find in this direction, so that one, I'll get one zero here. 3 into 2 into 0 minus, minus 1 into minus 5 is 5. Plus 0, this becomes 0. Plus 3 into 2 into, 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. And 2 into minus 2 is minus 4, so minus minus 4. So this becomes 15 minus 15, correct? This becomes 5, 5 into 3 is 15 and that becomes 0. So determinant of A is 0. Since determinant of A is 0, now I have to check for what? Adjoint of A into B. If this guy is also 0, I have to check for this guy. If this guy is also 0, that means it is inconsistent, no solution. and I mean, if this guy is also 0, that means infinite solution, it will be 0 by 0 term. Why? Because if you see, x is nothing but 1 by a determinant into adjoint of a into b. Since, since this guy is 0, if this guy is also 0, it is 0 cross 0, infinite solution or. And if it is some constant by 0, no solution. So we have to find this value. Adjoint of V, I am not finding it for you. You can still find for this equation using the chapters I uh, using the slides before this, or you can watch the videos before this. So let me just write the value of adjoint of A that will come out to be this guy. This will be the adjoint of A. This into B. If you see here, this is again three cross three. And this is 3 cross 1. Head tail matches. Yes, multiplication possible. So we'll take this row and take this column. We'll multiply this. Minus 5 into 2 is minus 10. Plus 10 into minus 1 is minus 10. Correct. 5 into 3 is 15. Plus 15. This guy will get minus 3 into 2 is minus 6. 6 into minus 1 is minus 6 and 3 into 3 is 9. Second row. Now I will take third row. Minus 6 into 2 is minus 12. 12 into 1 is minus 12. 12 into minus 1 actually. And 6 into 3 is 18. This becomes actually 20 minus 15 is minus 5. Minus 12 plus 9 is minus 3. Minus 24 plus 8 is minus 6. And this if you see is not 0. Since this guy is not 0 and determinant of a is 0, I can say that this is no solution. That is inconsistent. Correct. So here I could not find solution because determinant of a is 0 but adjoint of a into b is not 0. Let's take one last example. The example says that the cost of 4 kg onion, 3 kg wheat and 2 kg rice is 60 kilo. So let, let me draw it somewhere here. Onion, wheat and rice. So if I take 4 kg onion, 3 kg wheat, 2 kg rice, the total cost is 60 rupees. If I take 2 kg onion, 4 kg wheat and 6 kg rice, the total cost is 90 rupees. If I take 6 kg onion, 2 kg wheat, 
3 kg rice the total cost is 70 rupees we have to find the cost of each item so this is nothing but if we assume the price of onion to be x wheat to be y and rice to be z so i can write three equation 4x plus 3y plus 2z is equal to 60 first equation 2x plus 4y plus 6z is equal to 90. Second equation 6x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 70. So I've got three equations now. Now I've got three equations I can very well find solution. So to find solution what it will do? We'll convert this into this form. Ax is equal to b form, this matrix form. So let's convert this. So coefficient of x4 in the first equation, coefficient of y3, coefficient of z2, coefficient of x2, coefficient of y4, coefficient of z6, coefficient of x6, coefficient of y2, coefficient of z3. This into x that is x y z is equal to b b will be 60 90 70 60 90 so i have converted this into matrix form now next step i have to find determinant of a to check if it is consistent or not determinant of a if you find this that guy will come out to be 4 into 4 into 3 12 minus 6 into 2 12 12 minus 3 into 3 into 2 6 and 6 into 6 36 6 minus 36 plus 2 into 2 into 2 4 minus 4 into 6 24. So we solve this, this is nothing but this is 0 and this is 3 into 30 90 and this is uh, 90 and this becomes minus 20 into 4 is minus 80. So you get 10 I think. It is not equal to 0. So you got determinant not equal to 0. It is 2 into minus 20 is minus 40 actually. So this becomes 50. Anyway, that is still not equal to 0. So I've got determinant of A. Once I have determinant of A that is not equal to 0, I can just say that X is nothing but 1 by adjoint of A, 1 by uh, determinant of A into adjoint of A into B. And that is nothing but 1 by 50. Adjoint of A, I'll not find it, but you can find it. That will come out to be something like this 0, 30, minus 20 minus 5 0 10 10 minus 20 and 10 so this guy will be the adjoint of a this you can find on your own into b b is nothing but 6097 6097 so if you multiply this if you multiply this what you get here is I will not multiply for you, let, let you multiply. So this comes out to be 5, 8 and 8. This is nothing but x, y and z. So thus I can say that x is equal to 5, y is equal to 8 and z is equal to 8. That means the price of onion is 8 rupees kg, wheat is 8, onion is 5, wheat is 8 and rice is 8 rupees per kg. And that is my answer. So I can write my answer here if you want. Onion is 5 rupees per kg. Wheat is 8 rupees per kg. And rice is 8 rupees per kg. Friends, please understand this. Always write the answers in the form of units because if you're saying rice is 5, it doesn't signify anything. It, 
it, I mean, you're talking about five kg, five pieces, five quintal, you don't know. Or five small piece of onion, you don't know. So that's why I always write the units, five rupees per kg. This is the unit for this. So, and that is my answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.